Roger Moore, a man who graced the silver screen for over three decades, is most famously known for his role as James Bond. Born in London in 1927, Moore's journey to stardom was not without its challenges. Before becoming an actor, he worked as a model and a photographer. Moore's big break came in the early 1960s when he was cast in the TV series The Saint. He played Simon Templer, a suave and sophisticated thief who uses his charm and wit to outsmart his enemies. The show was a massive success and ran for six seasons, making Moore a household name. But it was his portrayal of James Bond that would cement his place in cinema history. Moore played the iconic spy in seven films, starting with Live and Let Die in 1973. His version of Bond was known for his charm, wit, and suave demeanor. Moore brought a unique style to the character, making him both sophisticated and approachable. Moore's contributions to the world of cinema are undeniable. He was awarded a CBE in 1999 for his services to drama and charity. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. Moore's ability to bring charm and wit to every role he played has left an indelible mark on the industry and his performances will be cherished for years to come. Roger Moore was a British actor, best known for playing the role of James Bond in seven films from 1973 to 1985. Before that, he starred in the popular TV series The Saint from 1962 to 1969. Did Roger Moore inspire or impact your life in any way? We'd love to hear your personal stories in the comments below. What made Roger Moore stand out from his contemporaries in his era? Share your views with us. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience related to this classic star? Please tell us, we'd love to hear from you. As we continue with this video, you'll discover many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Roger Moore. So, keep watching. Roger Moore, the British actor best known for playing James Bond, had a modest upbringing in London. Born in 1927, he was the son of a policeman and grew up in a loving family. Moore's first exposure to acting came through his mother, who was an amateur actress, and encouraged her son to try his hand at it. As a child, Moore attended a number of schools, including the prestigious Battersea Grammar School. However, he struggled academically and found more interest in art and sports than in his studies. After leaving school, Moore worked a series of odd jobs, including a stint as a salesman and a brief period in the army. It was during this time that he began to pursue a career in acting taking small roles in local theater productions. Moore's big break came in the early 1950s when he was cast in a small role in the British film Caesar and Cleopatra. This led to more film and television work and eventually to his breakout role as Simon Templer in the popular TV series The Saint, which aired from 1962 to 1969. Throughout his career, Moore was influenced by a number of mentors and peers, including actor David Niven, with whom he co-starred in several films. Niven, who was already an established star when Moore was just starting out, took the young actor under his wing and offered him guidance and support. Another key influence on Moore's career was director Terence Young, who directed him in his first James Bond film, Live and Let Die. Young, who had previously directed several of the early Bond films, helped Moore to find his footing in the iconic role and to make it his own. Overall, Moore's upbringing and early experiences played a significant role in shaping his career as an actor. From his mother's love of theater to the mentorship of experienced actors and directors, Moore's path to success was marked by a series of key influences and opportunities that helped him to become one of the most beloved actors of his generation. Roger Moore is best known for his work as an actor, particularly in film. He became famous for his role as Simon Templer in the TV series The Saint in the 1960s. However, it was his portrayal of James Bond in seven films from 1973 to 1985 that made him a household name. Moore's Zill seven movies, such as Live and Let Die, The Spy Who Loved Me, and Octopussy are must-watch classics for any fan of the franchise. For those new to Moore's work, starting with his Bond films is a great introduction. After that, they can explore his earlier roles, such as Ivanhoe and The Alaskans, as well as his later films like The Quest and Spice World. In addition to his acting career, Moore was also a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and wrote several books. 
His filmography showcases his talent, versatility, and impact on the film industry. Moore's contributions to the world of cinema will continue to be cherished for generations to come. Roger Moore's interest in acting began at a young age. As a child, he enjoyed watching movies and playing with toy soldiers, which sparked his imagination and love for storytelling. However, it was a school play in his early teens that truly ignited his passion for acting. Moore was cast as the lead in a production of Julius Caesar, and he found the experience exhilarating. He loved the feeling of bringing a character to life and connecting with the audience. From that moment on, he knew he wanted to pursue a career in acting. After finishing school, Moore worked as an advertising artist and model, but he never lost his passion for the stage. He began taking acting classes and performing in small productions, eventually landing his first professional acting job in a touring production of The Playboy of the Western World. Moore's big break came when he was cast as Simon Templer in the popular television series The Same. The show was a huge success, and Moore became a household name. He went on to star in several successful films and television shows, including Live and Let Die and The Persuaders. Throughout his career, Moore remained dedicated to his craft and continued to push himself as an actor. He was known for his charm, wit, and versatility, and he left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. During his military service, Roger Moore once reprimanded a group of recruits, only to be interrupted by an old friend, comedian Joe Baker. In Live and Let Die, Moore's portrayal of James Bond was highly regarded, ranking as his second best Bond film after The Spy Who Loved Me. Interestingly, his personal favorite of his own films was The Man Who Haunted Himself. Roger Moore, the British actor, faced many challenges on his path to becoming a successful leading man, particularly when he first started out in the industry. Financial struggles were a constant concern for Moore, who came from a modest background. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs, including working as a newspaper salesman and a hotel porter. Despite his natural talent for acting, Moore also encountered skepticism from industry professionals. At the time, there were few roles for actors with his particular blend of charm and wit, and he struggled to find his footing in the competitive world of film and television. However, Moore remained determined to succeed. He honed his craft by taking acting classes and appearing in small roles on stage and screen. He also developed a unique sense of style and humor, which helped him stand out from his peers and eventually caught the attention of producers and directors. One of Moore's most significant breaks came when he was cast as Simon Templer in the popular television series The Saint. The show was a hit, and Moore quickly became a household name. However, even with his newfound success, he continued to face challenges, including typecasting and the pressure to live up to his image as a suave and sophisticated leading man. Despite these obstacles, Moore remained resilient and continued to push himself as an actor. He took on a variety of roles, including in the James Bond franchise, where he brought his unique style and charm to the iconic character. Throughout his career, Moore faced many challenges, but he never let them hold him back. His determination and creativity allowed him to overcome each hurdle and leave a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Today, he is remembered as a talented and versatile actor who brought joy and entertainment to millions of people around the world. Roger Moore faced challenges while playing the role of James Bond in Live and Let Die. He was discouraged from raising his eyebrow, a trademark of his previous character, Simon Templer. Moore's health issues were well known. He was a self-confessed hypochondriac and suffered from vertigo. In 2003, during a Broadway performance of the play What I Wrote, he collapsed and was taken to the hospital. The following day, he was fitted with a pacemaker, which he had been told he would need eventually. Despite these health concerns, Moore continued to act, demonstrating his dedication to his craft. Roger Moore's career as an actor had several breakthrough moments. In the early 1960s, he gained recognition for his role in the TV series The Saint, where he played a suave and sophisticated hero. This role helped establish Moore as a leading man and set the tone for his future projects. In 1973, Moore became the third actor to play James Bond in the film Live and Let Die. 
His portrayal of the iconic character was met with critical acclaim and commercial success, cementing his place as a major movie star. Moore would go on to play Bond in six more films, becoming the longest serving actor in the role. According to his peers and collaborators, Moore brought a unique charm and wit to the character of Bond. Director Guy Hamilton, who worked with Moore on Live and Let Die, said, Roger had a wonderful light touch. He was very funny and could deliver a quip better than anyone else. In the 1980s, Moore took on more dramatic roles, such as in the TV movie The Picture of Dorian Gray and the miniseries Murderers Among Us, the Simon Wiesenthal story. These performances showcased his versatility as an actor and earned him critical praise. Throughout his career, Moore also used his platform for good causes. He was a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador and worked tirelessly to promote children's rights and humanitarian causes. In conclusion, Roger Moore's career was marked by several breakthrough moments, from his role in The Saint to his tenure as James Bond to his later dramatic roles in humanitarian work. His contributions to the world of entertainment and his impact on audiences around the world will continue to be celebrated for years to come. Roger Moore, known for his portrayal of James Bond, stood taller than his A View to a Kill co-star Grace Jones in the movie's main poster. In reality, Moore is 6'1", and Jones is 5'10", but the height difference appeared greater due to Jones wearing 4-inch heels. Interestingly, Moore's height became an issue while filming Moonraker, as he disliked acting while wet. A scene required him to be wet in a Mayan pyramid, causing discomfort. At the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, Moore studied alongside Lois Maxwell, who would later become a Bond series regular as Miss Moneypenny. Despite the challenges he faced, Moore's career as James Bond remains noteworthy. Roger Moore, best known for his portrayal of James Bond, had a unique approach to acting. He was known for his charm, wit, and suave demeanor, which he brought to all his roles. Moore's artistic process was largely intuitive and instinctive. He believed in being prepared and knowing his lines, but once on set, he preferred to be spontaneous and react to the situation. Moore's worldview and personal experiences greatly influenced his work. Having served in the military and traveled extensively, he brought a sense of realism and depth to his roles. He was also known for his humanitarian work, which influenced his decision to play roles that had a positive impact. Moore's style was characterized by his ability to balance humor and drama. He could deliver a serious line with conviction, but also had the ability to lighten the mood with a well-timed quip. This made his performances relatable and engaging. In his work, Moore often explored themes of justice, morality, and the human condition. His portrayal of James Bond, for example, was not just about gadgets and action, but also about the complexities of the character and the situations he found himself in. In conclusion, Roger Moore's artistic vision and process were shaped by his life experiences, worldview, and unique style. His ability to balance humor and drama and his exploration of complex themes made his work relatable and engaging for audiences around the world. Roger Moore's passing on May 23, 2017, was overshadowed in the news by the tragic terrorist attack in Manchester, England. Despite this, his impact on the film industry remains significant. Moore was once considered for the lead role in the 1973 film The Day of the Jackal, but director Fred Zinnemann rejected him due to his high profile. Moore was not only a talented actor, but also a loving neighbor and close friend to the late Sir Peter Ustinov. Their friendship was a testament to Moore's warm and approachable personality. Despite being turned down for the Day of the Jackal, Moore's career was marked by numerous iconic roles, including his portrayal of James Bond in seven films. His contributions to the entertainment industry will be cherished by generations to come. Roger Moore is remembered for his portrayal of James Bond, a character that significantly impacted the film industry. His charm, wit, and suave demeanor defined the British spy in the 70s and 80s. According to industry expert Robert Wade, who co-wrote several Bond films, Roger brought a lightness to the role that was both appealing and entertaining. Moore's influence extended beyond his on-screen presence. He was instrumental in shaping the Bond franchise, often contributing to the script and character development. His approach to the role influenced future Bonds, emphasizing charm, 
humor alongside action and adventure. Director John Glenn, who worked with Moore on five Bond films, commented, Roger's portrayal of Bond was unique. He brought a charm and humor that was his own, and it worked beautifully for the character. Beyond Bond, Moore was known for his work in television, particularly the series The Saint and The Persuaders. These shows further showcased his charisma and versatility as an actor, inspiring a generation of performers. Actor Hugh Laurie, known for his role in House, cited Moore as an influence, stating, Roger had a unique ability to make any role his own. His charm and wit were infectious, and he was a true gentleman. In summary, Roger Moore's contribution to the film and television industry is significant. His portrayal of James Bond and other iconic roles have influenced trends, techniques, and storytelling, leaving a lasting impact on the industry and those who follow in his footsteps. Roger Moore, known for his portrayal of James Bond in seven films, struggled with a fear of firearms, called hoplophobia, and disliked blood sports. Despite his on-screen weapon expertise, off-screen, he avoided guns. Roger Moore, best known for his portrayal of James Bond, had a rich personal life that informed his work and values. Moore was a devoted family man, married four times, and had three children. His family was his top priority, and he often spoke about the importance of balancing his career with his family life. Moore was also passionate about philanthropy and used his platform for good. He was a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF and worked tirelessly to promote children's rights and welfare. He even wrote a book about his experiences with UNICEF called One Rogue Reporter. Moore's work with UNICEF was a testament to his belief in giving back and helping those in need. In addition to his family and philanthropic work, Moore had a variety of interests outside of acting. He was an accomplished artist and enjoyed painting landscapes and still lifes. He was also a licensed pilot and loved flying his own airplane. Moore's diverse interests and passions gave him a well-rounded perspective that he brought to his acting roles. Moore's personal values of family, giving back, and pursuing diverse interests are evident in his work as an actor. He brought a warmth and humanity to his portrayal of James Bond, and his philanthropic efforts showed his commitment to making the world a better place. Moore's legacy is not just his iconic acting roles, but also his impact as a loving father, dedicated philanthropist, and passionate artist, Roger Moore's acting career took off unexpectedly when a friend mentioned that extras were needed for a film. From there, he landed the role of Simon Templer in the TV series of The Saint, which brought him international fame. Moore's success continued when he became the third actor to portray James Bond, appearing in seven Bond films between 1973 and 1985. In 1977, Moore was offered the part of Lieutenant General Brian Horrocks in A Bridge Too Far but had to decline due to a scheduling conflict with the spy who loved me. When the Bond film shooting was delayed, Moore became available, but Horrocks rejected him for the role, which eventually went to Edward Fox. Interestingly, Moore's predecessor as Bond, Sean Connery, played Major General Roy Urquhart in the same movie. By 1985, Moore's success in the film industry allowed him to own three separate houses. His acting career, spanning over three decades, left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, particularly in the action and spy genres. Despite his numerous roles, Moore will always be remembered for his portrayal of the suave and sophisticated James Bond. Roger Moore left a lasting impact on the film industry, particularly in the realm of spy movies. Best known for his role as James Bond, Moore brought a unique charm and wit to the character that is still celebrated today. His contributions to the franchise helped to define what a modern spy film could be, and his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers. For those looking to follow in Moore's footsteps, his advice is simple, always be yourself and never stop learning. In an industry that can often feel overwhelming, it's important to stay true to your own voice and vision. At the same time, never be afraid to take risks and try new things. Embrace opportunities to learn from others and grow as an artist. In terms of future contributions, Moore's legacy serves as a reminder that storytelling has the power to transcend time and culture. Whether through film, television, or other mediums, there will always be a need for compelling stories that capture the imagination and inspire new ways of thinking.
By continuing to push the boundaries of what is possible, aspiring professionals can help to shape the future of the industry and create a lasting impact of their own. Roger Moore is best known for playing James Bond in seven films, including Moonraker, a movie he often joked about due to its far-fetched plot. Initially, Moore was unavailable for the role in live and let die as he was committed to the persuaders. However, when the show flopped in the US, he became available to take on the part of Bond. Moore's acting career extended beyond the Bond franchise. For instance, he was offered Michael Caine's role in the 1981 film Victory, although he did not end up taking it. Despite his numerous roles, Moore remained humble and self-deprecating, often poking fun at himself and his work. His ability to bring humor and lightness to his characters made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Roger Moore was a British actor, best known for his role as James Bond in seven films from 1973 to 1985. Moore's passion for acting began as a child, and he pursued it throughout his life, appearing in over 40 films and numerous television shows. Moore's career was defined by his innovative approach to the iconic character of James Bond. He brought a unique charm and wit to the role, which set him apart from previous Bonds and endeared him to audiences worldwide. Moore's impact on the entertainment industry is enduring, and his portrayal of Bond remains one of the most beloved and recognizable in cinema history. Beyond Bond, Moore was a dedicated humanitarian, serving as a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF for over two decades. His philanthropic work is a testament to his passion for making a positive impact on the world. In conclusion, Roger Moore's creativity and perseverance allowed him to leave an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His legacy serves as a reminder of the power of following one's passion and using one's talents to make a difference in the world. In 1952, Roger Moore arrived in the United States and quickly appeared in the television play World by the Tail. Moore's career continued to flourish and he became known for his role as James Bond in films such as Live and Let Die. Despite rumors of tension on set, Moore and co-star Yafit Kato, who played the villain, had differing accounts of their working relationship. Throughout his career, Moore had a few standout roles, but he particularly enjoyed working on The Spy Who Loved Me and For Your Eyes Only. Coincidentally, 2017 marked the 40th anniversary of The Spy Who Loved Me, the same year Moore passed away. These two films, in his opinion, were some of his best work as Bond. Roger Moore is known for playing the character Beauregard Maverick in the TV show Maverick. During filming, Moore's mother, a fan of westerns, had the opportunity to meet Lee Van Cleef, one of her favorite actors. At the 45th Annual Academy Awards, Moore was given the task of presenting the Best Actor Oscar. The winner, Marlon Brando, declined the award and sent Sashin Littlefeather to refuse it on his behalf. Littlefeather also declined to take the Oscar from Moore. Moore was also made an honorary captain in the police by the captain of the main state police force. This title grants him the power to arrest. In total, Moore has had a varied career in both television and film, with experiences ranging from acting in westerns to presenting awards at the Oscars. Roger Moore's journey as James Bond began before his official film debut in Live and Let Die. In 1964, he played Bond in a sketch comedy show called Mainly Millicent, where he met a Russian spy on vacation. Moore's acting career took him to Broadway in 1953 when he joined a production of A Pin to See the Peep Show. However, the show only lasted a day, opening and closing on September 17th. Later, Moore appeared in the fifth season of The Muppet Show in an episode featuring Miss Piggy and a musical number by the Viking Pigs. The behind-the-scenes documentary of Muppets and Men offers a glimpse into the production, revealing the puppeteers at work and showcasing where the series was taped at the Athsentrock Elstree Center in Boramwood. These experiences demonstrate Moore's early career and his ability to adapt to various roles, from James Bond to Broadway performances and television appearances. Roger Moore was known for his close friendships with fellow celebrities David Niven, Tommy Cooper, Dudley Moore, and Sir Elton John. In the film Casino Royale, Niven played James Bond, while Elton John appeared alongside Moore in Spice World. During the filming of Live and Let Die, Moore's quick reflexes saved Jane Seymour from a dangerous accident. 
a hydraulic lift malfunctioned, and Seymour would have fallen 29 feet if Moore hadn't grabbed her hair to break her fall. Moore's tenure as James Bond included A View to a Kill, which was released in some territories in 1985. According to Variety on November 26, 1985, Moore had already informed producer Albert R. Broccoli of his decision to retire from the role at that time. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the work and legacy of the late Roger Moore, known for his iconic portrayal of James Bond. What are your favorite memories of his performances? Share them with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative minds shaping entertainment. Roger Moore left behind a vast body of work that spanned decades and delighted audiences around the world. His contributions to the world of film and television continue to resonate with fans of all ages. Let us know which of his roles stood out to you the most and how you think his work has impacted the entertainment industry. Your insight and memories are valuable to us, so don't hesitate to share them with our community. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the life and career of this remarkable actor. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below.